Porsche connecting rod orientation is a subject of so much fun. Um, so first thing we need to know is that the first rod is actually cylinder number three because that sits furthest back and this is the flywheel side. So if you know this is three and this is six, then you can work your way all the way up the crank and figure out what we're trying to do here. But, or you could do it the simple way and just trust but verify. On the left side, we want the tangs to be up. On the right side, left side being one through three. On the right side, we want the tang being down, being four through six. So this would be the orientation for four through six because it's gonna move in and out like this. So if we want the tang up, we see that we got our tang up here. We rotate it. So then we would have the numbers facing toward us. I don't have any assembly lube on this, so I don't wanna put it all the way through there. And then on this one, we wanna make sure that the tang, whoops, this side, tang up, they, they match on the rods, but you can do it either way. And then this guy would go like that. So in this case, this is a 3-2 engine, stock rods. The casting mark is in that top side of the rod. So you can certainly double check that. But the other side of the rod just has a J19, J18, depending on uh, the weight class. But that will make it easier. So figure out where your tang is. And then knowing that four through six needs the tang up and the orientation of the rod, and one through three needs the tang down and the orientation of the rod going back and forth like that. So a little confusing, but once you figure it out, it'll be nice and easy. You can follow the exact same pattern all the way to the top because they all stay the same because the way the rod points this way and then points that way. Cool stuff. Thanks for checking us out at brightworks.com.